Ladies and gentlemen, people of YouTube and beyond, however you're watching, welcome back to the dojo. I'm Ryu, he's Age, we're back for another episode of Versus in the dojo, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen versus Tokyo Avengers, season 1, 19 of both shows, respectively, and I'm pissed. I We, we lost our Tokyo reaction initially, so yeah, I, I'm not in a great mood right now, it, it's... Uh, it is what it is. I just gotta suck it up and move on. We didn't have a... We lost our entire reaction, so... Oh well. What are you gonna do? But we're we're, we're here. Discussion. Huh? Should end the discussion. Yeah, and, and the discussion. We lost everything, so... I, I'm, I'm upset. We had to just kind of throw out, like, a, you know... Afterwards, just kind of, like... Seven-minute video of just whatever, assuming you watched it, but... Uh, I'm just coming off being pissed, but it happens from time to time when you're recording, so... If this is like the the first time this has really happened. I had a, uh, another file corruption for Arcane, but we're going to be doing an Arcane thing coming up here, so if you're a fan of Arcane, we're going to be doing a big uh, discussion video about that coming up here uh, in the next week, so... Uh, hopefully I don't lose that, but, uh, you know, it, it happens with recording, so... Spoilers, I know a lot about League, and it's one of the best, sh even regardless of whether you know a lot about League, it's one of the best shows that's been out in a while. Yeah, so Age is going to have a lot to say about that, but we'll save that for that. We're here to talk about Jujutsu Kaisen and Tokyo Revengers, which were both okay episodes this week. Um, Yeah, this is, I mean, the Jujutsu episode was interesting, but still kind of meh by as far as Jujutsu episodes go. The Tokyo episode here was an all right episode, but it still had a lot against it. Like, once again, Draken very much carried this episode, like, to whatever height it did actually manage to achieve. Right. Draken basically had to pull a church and carry this whole goddamn team on his back <laughs> <laughs> for years. Hopefully, that's not a thing Draken has to do. For years to come, because they have confirmed season two, and we're getting it this year. Now that we're in 2022, so that'll be a thing. Um, we might might be doing a reaction of that. That might end up being one of the uh, things like we watch in our own time, and then just do like a discussion about you know half the season here and then half the season there. But uh, yeah, this week was pretty just par for the course, basically for both episodes. Um, there were some high points for both, obviously. There were some low points for both episodes uh, this week. And our major problem with Jujutsu, primarily, is pacing and placement. Like, how do you set up Rock and Roll Grandpa and then leave us hanging, man? How could... I, I can't believe they've done this. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I was super yeah, excited. I was ready. Just, you know almost as hyped as I was for Panda, and then this was cool. I'm not saying Hanami's not cool. I like her whole aesthetic, that's cool. Her holding back the, the like, black rose arm, that was a cool reveal. Just the the stuff uh, Aoi was teaching Yuji off screen and him just being, like, a play-by-play a -play guy, that was interesting. Them going from childhood friends to best friends to on a honeymoon to blood brothers in one episode happened typical jujitsu okay that was neat but the just some of the things you know just didn't need to be there and then we didn't get the stuff that we expected which is fine like yeah, the, the placement up. the placement of this episode is the problem that we have with it if it happened after, like, say, the teacher stuff with, like, uh, my we stuff. Need, we didn't even need the whole teacher, like, fight. We just needed at least some of it to follow up on the setup of the previous episode. The fact that they totally didn't, they didn't even so much as give us, like, Udahime running through the forest. Right. Or anything. Trying like to get that. to me, literally. Or whatever. Just nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, we literally got nothing of the teachers whatsoever this episode which is a pretty failure pretty which is a pretty big failure after such a good setup episode previously yep like hell even if um grandpa just like one shots that coat rack guy which that juju stroll was really weird and morbid too but 
he wasn't even in the episode. You know what I mean? They, they made it seem like he was a major part of the episode where it's like he wasn't even there. Yeah, I know those Juju strolls are just supposed to be random and wacky and whatever to, to fill time at the end of the episode. But still, it's just like, did, did you guys like misnumber the episodes or something? Like, was that episode 20 and, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Uh, what are you going to do about it? Yeah, because now they put themselves in a weird place of... Essentially, they have to end the Hanami fight early. Now, it has to only go for about, like, half of the next episode. Or they're going to have pacing issues. Basically, yeah, it's, it's, it's like one of two options. is either they have to end the Hanami episode early, the Hanami uh, fight early. Or they have to skip Frey and Rock and Roll Grandpa altogether. Right, and I mentioned that as a possibility, which would be disappointing considering the big... They revealed him. You know what I mean? And to get a reveal like that, and then to just do like a, you know, like him holding the guitar, like, yeah, that guy was a chump kind of thing, and then just moving on, that would be really weak. <laughs> in every it's sense of the good. word weak. Yeah, especially because they they tease him in the intro. Right. So, Like, if they're not going to actually give us any of the fight at all, then why tease him in the intro? Yeah. So that was weird. Okay. <laughs> and on the Tokyo side of stuff, since we lost three action and had to do the pissed off, like, quick synopsis of what we were talking about, uh, TLDR, Draken carries the episode, Takamichi... Takamichi is his way into a morale like recovery for Tomon and Mikey Mikey's that's basically the whole episode we had some cool we got a, a actual fight between Draken and Hanma which was like one of the first major one on one things that we really got in the entire season so far and it was good yeah pretty much we went every... full Saitama you know it was cool Pretty much every fight we've had so far has always either been one-sided and ended basically instantly, or pretty much any time we've actually had any sort of relatively even fight, we see, like, the initial conflict, and then it all happens off-screen. Right. So. This is, like, the first time we've actually got to see a relatively even fight. Mm-hmm. And then the whole stuff with Kazutoro, um, delusional. Just leave it at the one word. That's what he is. Called it on the whole, you know, bad family life thing. Big call out. You know, I I, I called that. So I, I'm I'm going to stand on my soapbox on, on calling that one when I said that a couple episodes back. But uh, he's he's a delusional narcissist. Nothing yeah. nothing in his life that goes wrong can possibly be his fault. There always has to be someone else to blame. Right, and as I mentioned in uh. The uh, footage we lost it's very cartman uh later seasons of south park cartman and there are, i'm sure there are other characters out there that i haven't personally seen that are like that so um age mentioned that There's he's so uh, dealt with people in real life like that i haven't personally so i have no experience with that yeah there's not actually that many characters that are like that in shows and stuff like that but like i said i do have personal experience with people in real life who are like that right so, again, it's it's new ground for me, so I can't really uh, speak too much on that. It's it's just kind of weird to me to see it, like the fir like for the first time, like firsthand. So it, it was a little weird for me, but uh, luckily I've age here to explain that stuff to me. So N nice to be able to bounce off somebody else for these things. Otherwise, I'd be sitting here going, uh, <laughs> "What the hell is this?" <laughs> but who are you? Yeah, who are you? What's Park Place? Where's Draken? Why is he not schooling people? <laughs> but again yeah, you are both episodes were fairly just par for the course uh they both had ups they both definitely had downs and at least it was close this week you know what i mean um yeah, and, and at least tokyo is still trending in a better direction than the whole falling off the cliffness so all things considered, these are both fairly mediocre episodes, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, while, while I, I will say that, you know, based on production value, I mean, 
Mappa is doing Jujutsu, so they're probably yeah, always going to win in the production value department when when it comes to like cool visuals and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to like you know compare those two things. I think Jujutsu did or uh, Tokyo did a good job with not doing very much animation this episode and just letting the uh, the like the still images, the pseudo still images do all the work for like all the just like the non named cast members in the in the big brawl that was good that's one of the things i'm personally taking into consideration it's like yeah there was a bunch of fancy shit that happened in this jujutsu episode but it's still mostly par for jujutsu like there wasn't really anything that was all that spectacular compared to previous jujutsu episodes right i mean it was it, it was cool but that's to be expected from mappa who is the one that's the the team that's doing jujitsu and they've done all kinds of big time series at this point and uh offhand without looking it up here i'm not sure who is doing the uh, anime ap adaptation of tokyo so i don't, I, I don't know really if they've been done anything head. like big i know i looked it up at one point but i don't remember off the top of my head either i can probably check again yeah you can uh, go ahead and check that while i uh had something else to say here so that being said you know, you have to compare production companies in a way sometimes because it's it's not just like one team who does all anime when it comes to just anything. So Mappa is a huge name. They've done all kinds of stuff. You know, you put their name into Google, you'll have a laundry list of shows they're doing. I believe uh, Solo Leveling, which is apparently a big deal uh, in the manga community, at least at the moment, is getting an anime adaptation. And I think they're doing that as well. And they have like a list of like seven or eight shows that they're doing that are either getting new seasons or like brand new anim anime adaptation season one stuff that they're doing this year. It's like seven or eight shows. So they're, they're a big company, obviously. So, you know, it, it's uh, kind of hard to compare and contrast when it's, uh, you know, you have the guys up here and then, you know, it's like comparing like say Square Square Enix to like a like an indie company or something so it, it really depends on what um the team that's doing Tokyo has done in the past but uh from what a couple of comments and stuff like that this the, the production of Tokyo was like rushed because of the popularity of the manga so you know they probably had to cut corners in uh, certain things like you know recap and just reusing previous episode content to fill like one to two minutes of time at the beginning of every episode as opposed to just cutting it and giving you know ad sponsorships more time to do ad stuff you know <laughs> apparently it's linden films is the studio and they're spotty yeah. some, of, some of their stuff is actually pretty big a lot of their stuff is pretty mediocre if not outright bad okay then like for like example for an example of bad, they're the ones who did the Berserk remake that everyone fucking hates. Okay. <laughs> for example, of some of the better stuff that they've done, uh, they... Uh, actually, I don't know if this one would necessarily be considered better. They did cells at work, but they didn't specifically do actual... They didn't do actual cells at work. They did the side series to cells at work that was i as far as i know like decent but not nearly as good as cells at work proper okay so their track record is questionable <laughs> from everything i'm seeing on here well this could have been one of those lowest bidder situations you know what i mean <laughs> They actually they have a lot of shows that they've worked on, but like I said, most of these are mediocre at best. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll look more into that uh, off screen here to not take too much time away from this, because at the end of the day, both episodes were pretty whatever. Um, Tokyo at least is doing a better job at picking itself up off the ground. They did a, a really good job of doing that last week. And this week was just, you know, just, just staying course, really. They had solid moments, but they also had some, like, kind of whatever moments. But it, it's okay. It, it didn't... It, it doesn't detract from me my personal enjoyment of watching Draken be Draken and kick ass. So, Draken carries, I can live with it. You know what I mean? Hinata's in the episode, and the rest of the episode is whatever. At least we got Hinata. You know, gotta take a look at the bright spots, so. Yeah. Um, 
So as for the point this week, it's at least it was close this week. You know what I mean? Last week was close too, unlike uh, like the last month and a half. Um, this one was closer, but just for even Draken wasn't enough to make up for the fact that while Takamichi did achieve kind of what he needed to do, I don't like the way he did it. Okay. And, and objectively, awkward. it was a profoundly stupid way of him even doing it. Even if it's on brand for him doing what he did, it's still just like, he's not learning. You know what I mean? He's just still being dumb. And he's getting, like, no character growth. And it annoys me. It's just, like, intentionally annoying is still annoying. Intentionally stupid is still stupid. Yep. It's like, the whole thing with Takamichi was awkward, dumb, and just really mehly executed yep just uh, even if i don't personally like it i still think it's objectively not great so i just that being said when your lead role does something like that it compared to what yuji does in jujitsu this week that that has to be the the tipping point while as cool as everything that happened with draken was what what tokyo does with the just like less is more animation that was good the mikey stuff kind of dragged a little bit uh mikey still being mikey is cool the 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 tomon captains doing their thing is neat but leaving baji and kisaki out of this was a little weird too but i guess they didn't have enough time for that which is fine at the end of the day as long as we get them next episode for the overarching story that's all that matters them, them leaving baji and kisaki out is better than them leave it than jujutsu leaving the teachers out yeah so, but they're both still questionable right so that being said i i'm still just protagonists are a big deal and UG takes it hands down for this episode with just everything that's happened. I mean, I mean, for me, it's more like I still also side with Jujutsu, but for me, it comes down to more just. Well, Jujutsu did make a pretty big mistake with the pacing. And like. Overall was fairly mediocre. These were both still meant to be spectacle fight episodes, and Jujutsu still was a better performance overall. Because even with that pretty big hiccup, freaking Tokyo it was a really good fight, and it's cool. Once again, Draken carries the episode. But pretty much everything that happens around Draken just falls short. Yep. So. Oh. Guess we're just gonna have to push this button here. Give uh, Jujutsu the point. Uh, still close, at least, but the episodes were pretty meh this week for the most part. Uh, there, were, there were cool parts in both of the shows, no denying that. But each episode has its its definite failings and shortcomings, and at least it was close, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll hang my head on at least it was close. So, you know. I don't know. It, it was what it was. We said everything we needed to say about it. So Jujutsu takes the point. They're up 17 to 6 uh, in this beta version of uh, Versus in the dojo. I know that, you know, I haven't done my PSA in a while, so I'll do it here. We know it's not the greatest show ever to, the two greatest shows ever to compare and contrast since they're fundamentally different in certain ways. So it's not like, say, Bleach versus Naruto or, you know, like uh, a rom-com versus another rom-com, you know, like Kaguya-sama and like, um, or on host club against each other or something to that effect so this being the beta we're just gonna finish it out and then next time we'll have uh you know we have what we want to do in the future for the versus show so uh for whatever the two shows that we do next will be more in line uh you know it'll make sense so anyway debatable, yeah, debatable. everything's debatable my face is debatable draken's face is debatable everything <laughs> the statement debatable is debatable. Exactly. That's why I say it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, people of YouTube and beyond, uh, we always appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us here in the dojo for more verses in the dojo. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen and Tokyo Avengers. This was season one, episode 19, and Jujutsu takes the point. They take a 17-6 lead, but 
who knows, maybe Tokyo will come back and, you know, make it interesting by the end of the season. And there's still the big, uh, you know, who had a better overarching season major bonus points at the end. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, we're going to finish this one out and, you know, for the next Versus show, we'll have something more uh, easily comparable. But this is still interesting and fun to do for us. So we'll finish it out and maybe we'll get more Draken schooling people. I don't know. Maybe we can hope for... Just dropping hard carries Tokyo to a to a surprise victory at the end of the season. <laughs> they they just dropping and Hinata us into the ground in the last uh, uh, five episodes here, and that's what that's what takes it. But anyway, have a good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it is for you to watch. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.